my people, when it comes to the palace, we are always skeptical about what to say and how to say it. Because these women are capable of a million things that nobody is, has been able to explain over time. So if you have been on this palace matter for quite some time now, you would know that dragging Olui Naomi around has been their duty for a very, very long time now. And the way they do that with all diligence speaks of how much dedication they put to destroying someone's life rather than building. Yes, it speaks of how much destruction they, they admire more than the peace that only pleases that it, it reigns in the palace. So now, my people, if you want to speak of what the prominent men have come out to say, they are saying something that literally everyone has said over time. They are saying something that everyone has looked into and, you know, elaborated and said that, yes, this is it. Yes, they have. In fact, if you would want to look at the truth of the matter as a thesis on ground right now, it is not just something that we are going to overlook. It is not just something that we are going to say that, well, it is a norm because I caught the last time it was a Louis Toby that said that wherever two or three women are gathered, competition is inevitable. Yes, it is true. Competition is inevitable, but their own kind of competition has become questionable. Their own kind of competition has come with a rod that they're using in striking others, and it does not make sense. So now the prominent men, are saying after a long meeting with the elders, they are on an opinion that only actually said to his wives that anybody at all that creates any form of chaos would actually leave the palace. Yes, the person, okay, not, not like they are presently in the palace, but your divorce will be certain and it will definitely take place. That is what um, he said. And now the prominent men are saying that, that things are quick, that in fact things are forgotten very quickly yes we are quick to forget as human beings and that is why miriam had an urge over everything that was happening in the palace she had an urge over it because she knew that what well, there is a personality in a man that forgets even when you said i will not forgive and forget there is a point to which you forget that ah, this thing even happened Yes, it is maybe frequency that makes you remember. So that was why every single time she pulled up a stunt in the palace, she she ran away, hid herself for some time, then came back. Afterward, she would run, hide for a, a period of time, then she would come back after uh, after she she have known that the whole thing has gone down to come back and parade in front of people. And, you know, day after day, people kept on saying that this strategy is working and she will, what, keep on using it. Even when Olori Naomi was coming into the palace for a celebration that the only had categorically invited her for, what did Miriam do? She had Olori Naomi's convoy attacked. That convoy was attacked. Olori Naomi made it out successfully. But what we know is that Miriam took pleasure in every single thing she did and she ran away and hid. She hid it for some time and after the whole thing went down, she came back. Even when she had people spying on Olui Naomi, what did she do? It was the same thing. She ran and hid herself for a period of time. Even when she came and the only never seemed happy, she wanted to hug the only, the only pushed her away. She knew that what it was going to be for a matter of time. So the prominent men have analyzed over, have analyzed these things, and then they are saying to the only that, see, if you wait for this woman to do something for you to hold on to it and finalize your divorce, then it is a lie. Nothing will happen. Because Olori Toby has done something categorically that it is worth pushing her out. But what has she done? She has found her way around the whole thing down to a point that you even have to call the matter a close. You have to say it should just end. It should go. So if there is going to be a divorce, it is now or never. Because now right now that they're preparing on Olori Naomi's return back into the palace, everyone is hoping that, yes, Naomi will come back into the palace. Naomi is returning back into the palace. It is now or never. You just have to make one singular decision. Are these women going to stay 
or are these women going to leave? You cannot be a two-sided man ruling a people. That is what this man is saying. You cannot be a two-sided man ruling a people because as it is right now, as we speak right now, no, there are no two ways about this thing because so Lori Naomi also asked, asked who, okay, no, the, the Ilefe woman asked who is staying in the palace and who is living. They ought to know. They have to know. Yes, they need to know because if they don't know, how are they going to understand exactly what is happening? How are they going to align with what is happening? Because is it everybody we see that we call Olui? Yes, is it everybody we see that we say, I look at all his wife, who is living and who is staying? After all the fighting and the basketballs about divorce, and the only said time will tell. And it seems like everybody is tired of waiting for time to tell. And they are now still asking him, telling him. Now they are not asking, they are telling him that if there is going to ever be a divorce, there is no better time for that divorce to take place than now. The divorce has to happen now so that things will be equivalent, so that things will balance, so that things will be proper. That is what they are saying. And you see, my people, at this point, then, we don't even know which one is which. Yes, at this point, we don't even know which one is which again. Because if you would want to say that, ah, the one is being too lenient with this woman. Someone else will say that the one is being too harsh on this woman. Yes, but remember when Toby wanted a break from the palace. It did not even take time for the only to grant her that break. Because the only knew very well that when his wife wants something and they don't get that thing, it turns into a tug of war. But when him, the only wants something, that thing automatically turns into a battle that is being fought endlessly. And today, we are actually experiencing that particular thing because the only wants a divorce and his wife wants otherwise. So, we would wait and see how this whole matter plays out because as it is right now, we are in no place to draw conclusions. But we know certainly, we know definitely that this matter, it will get end. <laughs>